Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again to another fun-filled episode of Hashtag Sports, where you see two guys drinking coffee in a car and eating donuts. Um, I want to point out, I have a little, so those of you who are local, Tim Hortons, right, runs roll up the rim to win. It happens every year, sometimes twice a year, where they give you prizes under the rim of your cups. We figure right? that, that this is not the first time someone said roll up to win. What do you mean? If this was an advertisement for Trojan, you'd win a child if you rolled it up. <laughs> no? We're going to get the money. Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. Hit that like button. <laughs> anyway, it says roll up the rim, but... There's no prizes under the rim. No, not today? No. You have to scan this QR code. Every cup has its own QR code. That's some false advertising. You well, know what that's like? That's like putting all your eggs in the combine basket and forgetting about the senior bowl. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you here. The, the scouting combine is the, is the head cheerleader at, at the high school, <laughs> right? Yes. That that's the scouting combine. Everybody knows what's going on at all times. Probably overvalued a bit. <laughs> Just uh-huh. throwing it out there, right? Mm-hmm. So the scouting combine is, is the fun thing to know about. Unless you have an eight and a half inch hands. <laughs> then it's not fun. No. No. Then you know your poor Aaron Murray just sitting in the corner <laughs> trying to Google ways to stretch your hands out. <laughs> You not only have scouts judging you, but your exes. Man. I love getting you when you're drinking. <laughs> Man. That is, uh... Oh, it is hand size season. I had a, I had fun, and we'll, we'll do it a little bit later. We'll do the, the hand measurement. You guys will see it later in the week. But um, I actually measured my hand after reading that article with, about him and everything. And yeah. I was like... All right, and then there was an ESPN article that was attached to it that gave all the hand sizes for. You know who has the biggest hands in the NFL? Uh, oh, uh, uh, not just quarterbacks. They're just in the NFL. Just quarterbacks. Just, just, just quarterbacks. quarterbacks. Yeah. They, they did all thirty-two teams. Biggest hands. I mean, I would assume Roethlisberger's had to be gigantic. They weren't though. Really? Yes. Okay. Then do tell. The top three. Okay. At ten and a quarter, Russell Wilson. Has the biggest hands in the NFL. You know what? I just want to point out real quick. Russell Wilson did himself a lot of favors going from a spread system to a pro style system, transferring his senior year. Oh yeah. From NC State to Wisconsin. That was that was a good call. And the fact that he had ten and a quarter inch hands helped him. Good God. Yeah. On on Russell Wilson. Yeah. The Damn. Number two and number three at, tied at two and three are Aaron Rodgers and Josh Allen at ten and a quarter. Or ten and eight. I'm sorry. Ten and eight. Yep. You want to know what your boy measured at? What? You have similar type hands. Too. I have, yeah. I have, I have big hands for somebody. Mine were ten and a half. Jesus Christ. <laughs> ten and a half. Yeah. That's why. See, here's the thing. Mario will be like, "Hey, let's throw the football around," and he pulls out this NFL football that's the size of a a beach ball because he pumps it full of so much air. He stretches the seams out in the ball. And it's not, it doesn't even have points anymore. It is just round. It is a round ball. And he's, and he's like, oh, yeah, here, let's play catch. And his hand still fits around the ball fine. And I'm sitting over, I got big ass hands. And I'm sitting over here, like throwing it like a shot put. <laughs> <laughs> that ball is done. That, being, that all being said, Josh Allen was a guy that was more looked at at the senior bowl, mm-hmm. it stood out a little bit more. And it seems like the Buffalo Bills put a lot more stock in the Senior Bowl yeah. versus the Combine. Now, yeah. you have talked about the Senior Bowl a lot before. What is what is your give give? I want you to give Hashtag Nation your progression 
of certain things. Like you go, you watch tapes. That's where you put a hundred, like ninety percent of your stock. Right. And then you, you have an order and you do stuff. Yeah. So I, I kind of back it up a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. So I think it's for Buffalo specifically. This may not work with every team, right? But for Buffalo specifically. Um, because when you're scouting, you always have an agenda in your mind, right? You're yep. looking for certain traits that you think the organization or a team needs or wants, right? So when you're when you're watching specifically for Buffalo, I really you watch the college football season, you kind of have a hierarchy in your head of players that you'd like to see, mm-hmm. right? Um, but I think it's always really important to start at those, like at this time of the year, you start at something like the Senior Bowl or the East West game, right? You start at those games and you work your way back. And you watch those games and say, okay, wh- who here looks like a better athlete than the person on the opposite side of the football, right? And that's kind of where you can start to get a feel for who you want to watch first or really pay attention to. And then you kind of back that up. And then you go back and you watch three or four games of, of that yeah. player, right? And you kind of work your way through the roster doing that. Um, but in, when you watch film, you want to pull games against big colleges. Like you want to pull games against um, – LSU, you want to pull games against uh, – Al- don't pull any games against Alabama. There's just no point. There's just no, there's just no point. Um, I mean, it's, it's not funny, no but it is funny. It's, it's just – There's no point. It's like, a, it's like clubbing a seal every Saturday. <laughs> but you got to work your way back, and, you know, then you get to the scouting combine. And the scouting combine is, okay, I've got these guys. This is where I, this is where I think they are. And then you look at the combine numbers and some of those certain drills like we talked about already, mm-hmm. and then you say – Okay, do I have my rankings accurate, right? From an, from an athlete standpoint, and did I, did what I see on film relate to what I saw at the co- scouting combine? And when you see those guys that put up big numbers in certain things, you're like, okay, oh, all right, let me go back, and you go back, you start the process all over again. Like, let me go back and yeah. see, did I what did I miss? I mean, it's but it, it's interesting that for hashtag Nation and Bills Mafia, like one of those things that you want to do is like you pick one play, like pick one player that. You think the Buffalo Bills could possibly draft in the first round, okay? So I'm going to – first of all, I'm going to look at them at the Senior Bowl. I'm going to watch them, see how they performed against guys that are projected to be drafted as high as they are. Right. Okay? And then I'm going to go and look at their combine numbers to see if they're in line with the majority of the players that have been drafted at that position at, you know, throughout the years. And then I'm going to trace back a little bit more and watch like three or four games of how he produced in those games – Against other top talent, mm-hmm. and then you can you can firmly make a. I mean, the only thing that Bills Mafia or Hashtag Nation can't do is interview the kid. That's I right. Mean, but everything else, you could watch and mm-hmm. see if the kid passes the eye test mm-hmm. from everything that you've had. But I think it's very important that people know the Senior Bowl and the Combine both are only to supplement what you've seen already. That's right. They should not be a starting point. Of well, this guy did awesome at the Senior Bowl and um, and at the uh, and at the Combine. He was phenomenal. He did this and all that. He was like, yeah, but the guy had 18 catches and seven drops. Right. Would, well, and why I th- would I get? Why would I go new? And I think you know the Senior Bowl is like elite level people watching for NFL scouts mm-hmm. because if you go back and you look at the Scouting Combine, what's the big difference between the Scouting Combine and the Senior Bowl? And why would McDermott love the Senior Bowl over the Scouting Combine? Think of the process, right? Mm-hmm. So this is a, this is a serious question. I, we've never talked about this. So what is the major difference between the Senior Bowl and the Scouting Combine from the from an event standpoint, right? What's the big difference? What is the big difference? Yeah, what's the big you're difference? You're doing actual right? drills. That's right. And you're doing it wearing pads. In yeah. the Scouting Combine, you're just in shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah. But at the Senior Bowl, those practices every week while they're getting the team ready, that that's the stuff you have to try and find. That's the secret sauce amongst the Senior Bowl is – you go and you try and find how many you try and find as much practice footage as you can of these kids because they are beating the hell out of each other in practice. Yeah. And that's where teams like Buffalo, that's where you find winners, right? Yeah. That's where you find the grinders. That's where you find, you know, like a Wyatt Teller. People talk about Wyatt Teller. Wyatt Teller was a practice all star at the senior bowl. Practice he was throwing homies around. <laughs> but you go back and you watch Wyatt Teller on tape in college and it's not you see it there. It's not eye popping. You see it, but then you watch some of the practices at the Senior Bowl. You go, "Holy cow! Wow, this guy can really, this guy can really haul." I'm a left tackle. He's a defensive end. 
Okay. Buffalo Bills have been shown interest in player A mm-hmm. to try to be as one of their tackles. Mm-hmm. Player B has been targeted by Miami. Mm-hmm. If we go to the the, the senior bowl and in in all those practices and he's beaten the shit out of me. Right. Do you think they're going to have interest? They're like, <laughs> right. We're not dealing with this twice a year. <laughs> we got to do something like who kind of held their ground against this guy or do right. we have somebody currently on our roster that can, that can deal with him? So that's why the senior bowls go, okay, you know, these teams have been interested in this player. Right. Okay, how do we combat that? Who went mm-hmm. against him at the senior bowl that's or exactly throughout right. the year that was good? Yeah. You had made um, many inferences. Uh, the year that Gabe Davis, he had a, he had him actually going up against Dane Jackson yeah. that year. Yeah. When you were doing the scouting, it was like, that was great. It was great to watch both of them. Right. And they both ended up in Buffalo. So mm-hmm. um, to see that them guys go back and forth, like that is, is so huge at the senior bowl, and that's why the Buffalo Bills put so much attention on it. Right, and you know, the, and just to call it out, right, the senior bowl is a much more relaxed environment, but it's a football atmosphere, whereas yeah. the scouting combine is a recruiting piece. It's yeah, exactly. It's 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 a showcase. It's sexier than the senior bowl. Nobody, there's not many people who are like, oh man, I can't wait to watch senior bowl practice today. Like, who's who's doing that? Right, mm-hmm. really, like people who want to be on the inside circle of football are looking forward to Senior Bowl, East West Shrine Game, like those practices because those kids know they're fighting for their draft future because there's teams there for every practice. They're all there. They all have scouts there, and not only are they watching how you are in the football field, they're watching how you are off the football field. They're watching how you interact with teammates. They're yeah. they're wa- yeah. they want to see how serious you take this, and I assure you. Buffalo doesn't take people that don't take it seriously. Like you look at the resource they put in Boshan Joseph, an incredible athlete, incredible athlete. Yeah. There's a reason he didn't end up on another football team. I don't know what it is because you don't take a, an athlete like him and just say, and, and 31 other teams go, nah, I don't see it. And right? Could have could have been could have been something was up. What the Bills, you know, like well they got rid of him. Maybe that'd be a maybe it's a red flag to every other team. It's the Bills deciding to get rid of the player. Now, back then. Back then, maybe. Now they have so much talent. I think if they do get rid of somebody. Yeah, it's a little different. Like when, yeah. when the Bills are losing players off their practice squad, that's a sign that other teams take them seriously. Yes. yes right? Absolutely. But I do think we have to talk a little bit about uh what's coming up later in the week. And we should probably transition to talking about what else is coming up this week. Because, yeah, it's Scouting Combine, all that's really great. Don't don't get me wrong, right? I love the Scouting Combine, love the Senior Bowl, and how all that works together. But you know what we really need to talk about? (laughs) 